What's up everyone? It is me, Aborigine Goddess Love, and today I am coming to you with no backdrops, no lighting, although the natural light is pretty dang good. But I'm coming to you all me, all raw, no filter, no nothing. And we're going to talk about my cat scratching my bed. Don't get knocked out. Don't do that. Let's talk about something very heavy, something very serious, and something, you know, that shouldn't be happening right now, and that's the United States and Syria. Now, I'm no expert in war, except for the fact that I know any war at any given time is wrong. It is not right by any stretch of the imagination, no matter how you look at it. People die. People die. And that is never okay, especially... In a heinous way such as nuclear war, that is completely and utterly inappropriate. And I cannot put in words how foul that makes me feel, especially because I live in the country that is going, is going or will go to war. We don't know yet, but you know, that's, oh, my skin is looking, I'm sorry, but my skin look right. You know, I live in this country and I am not a violent person. And there are a lot of innocent people here who have done nothing to deserve the retaliations of one man's actions, myself included. There are children and women and men that have done nothing. And the only thing that they're trying to do is make a living and trying to survive and trying to give their children and their families a better life. And I, I can't wrap my head around it. It is a heinous act, no matter who's doing it. It is wrong, no matter who's doing it. It is hateful. That's what it is. It is pure hate because someone else doesn't agree with what you agree with. Now, I understand that, you know, terrorists is a whole nother thing. But let, right now, we're not talking about terrorists. We're talking about war. There are innocent people in Syria right now that are dying because our president doesn't agree with them. Yes, there are terrorists over there, too. But there are also innocent people. So why should they have to pay for what someone of their culture has done? They had no control over that. And they have no control over our actions. But make no mistake, our actions will have serious consequences. Because war is not taken lightly anywhere in this world. I don't care where you are. War is not taken lightly. But my biggest problem with this is we are not the givers of life. So who are we to take it away? I don't care who you believe in or what you believe in. That is just, that's, that's facts. I, I didn't give you your life. So who am I to murder you or your mother or your father or your brother or your sister? I will always be wrong in that. Just like you would always be wrong to do or murder someone of my family or someone that I care about or anyone for that matter. I am honestly appalled at this country right now and disgusted off the hate and the violence. It is so ignorant is what we are. Ignorant. And not all of us. Some of us are very educated. But for the most part, a lot of us around the world, I'm not just speaking about America. I'm speaking in general, are very ignorant people. Ill-educated, ill-mannered, downright hateful people. And this has led us to go to yet another war. I want each and every one of you to think about exactly what is about to happen. If it happens. About the lives that are, are being lost right now in Syria as I make this video. The children who did nothing to this country. Who are dying mercilessly. Because of the hate that has been spewed around the world that has been built into the DNA of each and every country. Because we can't agree on anything. So what? You're Muslim and I'm black. That doesn't make me any better or less than you. So what? You're white and I'm black. It's still the same. Please... Everyone sit down and think about what is going on. And I know a lot of good people who... who feel the same way but for anyone who played a hand or played a part in this if you see this and even if you don't i pray for you i pray that god will open your eyes because america is by far far from innocent in anything 
Just look at her history and not the ones they taught you in school, but look at her actual history. She has no right to come for anyone's neck in any situation because the racism is built into the DNA of this country. Genocide, murder, and hate is all we know. Let's get this shit together, man. Get it the fuck together because this shit is ridiculous. I'm pissed.